pen factory again show you guys this custom paint job it starts out kind of mellow and it gets really crazy when we get to the other end but even this isn't very mellow if you look at all those little dots down here all these little dots they're all there exactly as they were planned um, so and like this one here they kind of become like a ribbon come down and these ones here make dots go around like this and they come back up and become a line because it's the pen factory this used to be the pen factory for paper mate and so they wanted to keep the same idea of pens so they spent a million dollars I think on painting this place with all this custom stuff everywhere it's nuts this is in Santa Monica and uh, see how much crazier this gets as you go so really needed by uh, my what's it called my uh, selfie stick or my good camera for this sorry for the bad bumpiness to the photos to the video but I thought I'd just show you guys more of this place because it's just crazy this goes all the way around this giant building all these stripes they go through the windows and stuff so that one goes through the window and there's all these bright colors all over this place so look at that and that nuts this is just a tilt-up building and they painted it like this all these stripes all over it because it's to replicate ink pens writing over it so papermate used to own this property a long time ago and they used to make pens here until i think 2003 or something i don't remember the exact date <clears throat> Still working on this place. So yeah, it's uh, look at this stripe going up through those. So going up over the top of the other ones. That one goes underneath. So you had to lay it out. I think that they did. I imagine with I, I don't know. I would have laid it all out with tape. They said they used stencils on some of it. But like all those those things there where the where they become little uh, dots they use stencils they said but I think I would have just went and uh, would have used tape wouldn't have been that hard to do that part but yeah I could see this costing a million dollars to do this this is the street side. I didn't show the street side in my last video. So, but decided to walk the whole thing since I had a couple minutes right now and I was back here today doing some more stuff here. Um, doing some sign stuff. Nothing to do with this building painted. I didn't paint this thing. It had to take up too much time. Just had to have a group of guys here for weeks. Someday they're going to have to repaint this. It ain't going to be, take very long. This whole building's a radius, too. It's not just straight. They didn't do anything easy. So all those little dots there where the pens were running out of ink, I suppose. Let's look at the other side. Well, this side starts out with dots, like the other sides. And there's this main stripe scheme going along. It's taking a video of the building, it's so cool. See those stripes there are going straight across, some of them going up, some going down. All those little dots had to be painted individually. They masked them all off in the painted where they used where they go up at an angle 
um, which is kind of weird that they did it that way versus making this dots kind of go up uh, at an angle how oh, they're squares like that looks kind of weird but um, and then where, uh, where they go up I would have done them with the squares going with the you know like it was running out of ink I think so that's what I would have done but I don't know it was all on the plan somehow I don't know somebody had it all on the plans and they had to lay this out and actually paint it so look I don't know how many colors that is there's all these colors to a couple different shades of pink oh, it's crazy all those colors on that wall so then you go so this is the other so there's two buildings and there's all these directional signs here and this is the building name is called pin factory it's they don't manufacture pins anymore but they wanted to keep the keep the same id so all these lines here go all the way down look at that thing it looks like a big swoop goes down comes back up so it comes down then goes back up way over there one goes underneath one goes over the top so they had that all laid out had to figure that out from a set of plans so this was all drawn out as far as I know usually this stuff is done this way it's on a plan set of plans and you have to follow what they want how they want it to be, and figure out how to do it however you want to do it which again I would have used on these I would have just masked everything off straight painted it let's get up close and look at it so each one is done really clean didn't get any tape bleed so probably they must have uh, done this by dry brushing it but you could do that to keep it clean there's a few bleeders here not bad though on this size of a scope work there's no way you can have it perfect so it's all enamel but unfortunately in five years especially all these pinks and blues that pink is going to fade out in a, in a year. The blue above it, it's going to fade out really fast. Purple. There's all kinds of colors here. I don't know. These crappy color there. That's going to fade out really fast. Anything primary. Blues, pinks, and purples are all going to fade out in about a year or two. Unfortunately. And they got to fork out a million bucks again. Because now... With all the decks and everything in there, they can't use lifts on that side, so is it on the street? You have to have a serious uh, sidewalk permit in Santa Monica, so it'd be crazy. Look at this, even has how about that for a curb stop? I think those are just temporaries. Well, that's how they all are. All right, well, that's it for the pen factory. Uh, talk to you guys in the next video.